lost like there's no fucking tomorrow. And I'm lost in a bad, bad way because I have no fucking clue where I'm at. Ready with 2G! 2G! Ready with 2G! Ready with 2G! Ready with 2G! Ready with 2G! I've got to figure out where I'm at. I can figure out how the hell to get home. And my visor is a mess of bugs right now. Still don't know where I'm at. Oh man. Scenery is nice. By scenery I mean trees. Trees. And more trees. Dig it! I'm gonna go with my internal compass to help me get home. And if any of you guys know anything about me, my internal compass is not that good. So, I still got plenty of gas, so I'm not worried about running out. I'm just more worried about where the heck am I? Oh, let's go to Hampton Beach. I, no, no, let's not go to Hampton Beach. Let's talk about all the things I love about this bike. All right, number one thing so far I love about this bike, I've been sitting on this seat forever, and this seat is extremely comfortable. I have not had that like, oh, I need to get off saddle soreness yet. And I mean, I've been riding for like ever now, because I'm lost. So that's a big plus with this bike, you know, when you have a, a Kawasaki ZZ, 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 ZZR, um, nice CBR, you, um, you would think I'm on a sport bike that my ass would be like numb right now, but it's not, so that is a big plus. Um, the other things I love about this bike is, man, the, the, the riding position, Marion County, holy crap. I'm in Marion County, holy crap. I have no freaking clue how to get out of here. I've never been to Marion County, I've never, wait, have I been to Marion, well, I think I've been to Marion County before, let me think. I might, if I could just find a road that, that has something I'm familiar with, I can get home. So far I haven't seen anything. I don't know if I want to be in Marion County anymore. 464, don't know that road. This up! This up! Get your ass out of here! I can't believe I'm all the way out in Marion County. I'm in Marion County, Florida. Quick King Food Store. I haven't even heard of these places. Turn green. Back to stuff I love about this bike. The seat's really comfortable. Oh, dude, the flickability of this bike and the drivability of this bike is insane. Because everything that I can do, this bike makes it easy for me to do, and I know I'm nowhere near the limits of this bike. If that does that make any sense? Definitely not gonna get to the limits of the top end of this thing. Sack. What the hell are with these stores? I'll be there. Can I get a sign that says where the fuck I am right now? Oh shit. A 
That's not a confidence inspiring sign. Park at your own risk. Okay, I know exactly where I'm at. Well, let's get me home. I feel so much better now knowing how the heck I'm gonna get home. I didn't realize 421 is right here. I know exactly where I'm at. Still in Marion County. Oh, right, guys, right your hair? I think I was doing a whole topic and I just gave up on it. Because I got like super, super lost. But now, uh, I'm found. No, we're going to talk about getting lost. Do you guys get lost a lot? I guess people don't get lost nowadays because they have. They have GPS, so I guess the art of getting lost and reading a map is something that's slowly being lost because everyone has GPS now and Google Maps and whatnot. You just plug where you want to go in a map. You don't even have to figure out where you're at. It'll automatically tell you where you're at. So I was never really good at reading a map, so Google Maps is something that definitely comes in handy for someone like me. I don't want to be all the way out here. I don't want to wade my way through all this traffic and eventually get home. But I guess that's part of the adventure of discovering new, when you move to a new place is it's going down a road and seeing where it leads. Just make sure when you go down the road for like 20 minutes and it doesn't seem to want to end, you get off said road. You know what holiday I'm looking super forward to is Thanksgiving. Thanks freaking giving. I love that holiday. Once Halloween is done and Thanksgiving's here, I will be one happy, happy mother. That, that time of year is freaking awesome. Christmas is cool and all, but Thanksgiving takes the cake, literally. Now, my only issue with Thanksgiving is, is, um, the food. What the fuck, man? I'm getting tired of sitting behind this goddamn car. I'm just ready to go home. I know where 42 goes, but that's about it. I think they put this on here so you have something to play with while you wait at a light. I must be clear on the other side of the villages. Uh, the villages in Florida is like the, the whole area that uh, a bunch of uh, older people go to to retire. Um, it's all built up. It's like a gigantic, I think to live in the area. To even own a house, you got to be over the age of 55. It's like an area where everyone rides around in golf carts and is, you know, 60 plus. I personally don't like the area because everyone rides around in golf carts. You know, it, it's, you can ride around with them on the road and it, I don't like it at all. Um, but if I'm coming up to Lady Lake, None of this looks familiar the last time I came out to the villages. So I gotta be coming up the back side of where the villages are. Yeah, see, none of these roads have street names. Southeast 178th place. That's how you know you're in some like ass backwards town where none of the roads have street names. They're all southeast this and northeast that. person in the villages right now. And most of the time I get lost and I figure out where I'm at, I'm usually somewhere where the road's kind of fun to ride on. This time I failed. Right here. Fucking idiot. What the fuck? Just so they could get ahead. This area is completely unsafe. I hate driving around here. You get people staring at you. I really do hate the villages. I got pockets, don't I? 
I mean, like, that dude came all the way over in this lane just to cut back at the last second. This shit's not cool. Ugh. So that dude on the CBR almost gets taken out. I do gotta count you as Mrs. Reliable, I'll tell you that much. I never did finish going over all the stuff I love about this bike. Alright, back to what I love about this bike. I'm making editing this, it's gonna suck. Cause I have like, done this topic like four times over the span of like three videos. But um, let's see, where was I? Oh. I love the power of this bike. I love how the power comes on. I love how it's readily available. It's got power through the whole entire rev range. There is no, at least to me, it's not no dull. Um, I don't know if that's a product of it being chain drive. Or what, but... But um, yeah, when I twist the throttle, I can immediately feel the power coming on. It's a very good, confidence-inspired feeling. Anyway, I think that's it. Not a lot of stuff I love about this bike. A lot of it is intangible. It's just the whole package as a whole of this bike is just fun. You know, would I take this thing, you know, 80 miles in a day? 120? 200? I just did 80, so, yeah. Am I tired? Yeah. But, it's not going to be because I only got three hours of sleep. So, in, con in conclusion, as I concur, it's a sweet piece of machinery, man. Yeah, you know, I would definitely recommend this bike. Anyone looking to get a bike. It seems really reliable. And, um... I think it would uh, be a great addition for anybody's uh, stable of bikes or you know or as their only bike because it, it fits into that best of both worlds category now well, that was an adventure for the day for sure